All right, so we'll be installing some hop-ups on the TA05. First off here, we have the uh, rear hub carrier by Hot Racing. There's a part number there. Put that to the side. Next thing here is the rear A-arms again by Hot Racing, and that's your part number. <laughs> trying to get fancy and stack them up. That's not working too good. And we have the front A arms. These ones are by uh, Eagle Racing. We allow for uh, more uh, angle on our steering. And here we have the TAOA, sorry, TA05 front one way unit. And here we have a bunch of goodies for the front. So this is a front upgrade set for the drift chassis. If it's the VAO, TAOF. VDF1 and VDF version 2. Alright, so throw that to the side and get started. Alright, so get rid of the tires here and be able to start the project. Alright, so first things first, we get that bumper off. So we have uh, three uh, screws here to secure that bumper, give us access to the uh, I call it a pin or uh, A-arm retainer, but whatever is holding those pins in. First of all, I'm going to have to snap off the uh, shocks and the camber link as well as the steering link. And then we have one screw at the top, another one at the bottom. The steering knuckle is free. Grub screw is holding a retainer pin, which is holding the C-hub. So, I'm going to get that out. And here we have those two screws that are now holding that retainer, uh, or the A-arm retainer. Once that's off, the A-arm will just slip out. Now, we have four screws to get the bulkhead out, because ultimately we're going to be installing that uh, one way, so that all needs to come out. Alright, so it is free from the bottom. Now we have... Uh, First of all, we get that pulley off. Give us a little bit of slack. And next we have uh, the aluminum retainers that are holding that to the center chassis brace. So we get the two screws here. And that should just flip out from the underneath here. Alright, so now I'm going to start building our one way. Install the pulley onto the spool with three screws. And as always, anything that's metal to metal, we can get some thread lock on there. So, find the proper tool. Get some thread lock on our piece of plastic here. And install that to the spool. Two more. And we're done with that. Right. So next step we're gonna be using a retainer and we're gonna add the uh, diff cups. Sorry, the retainer is gonna be sitting in between the diff cup and the spool. So make sure that everything's sitting fine before we go and install that into the bulkhead. Alright, and we're good. Now for the bulk head, <laughs> bulk head, we can install the uh, one way in the retainer. Get our belt placed up here, or lined up, should I say? Throw that back into the bulkhead, and that's four screws to get that all set up. Get that off camera. Now what we're gonna do is be adding the uh, sway arm retainer. Not that I'm using it, but in case I ever do, it's there. Reinsert, uh, reinsert into the chassis or on the chassis as we did move it earlier. So two more screws, to the chassis brace. Get that pulley lined up here. All right, I almost forgot. So the pulley that we're going to be using this time here is an 18 tooth. So that's going to give us a uh, 1.2 counter steer ratio. that lined up make sure all those flange bearings are in place they love to fall out when you're trying to work on those pulleys 
add the retainer and lock that up off screen so now before we go any further we're going to start installing those uh front a arms by eagle racing just pulling out the old hardware from the other a arms there because that's what we're going to be using to install this here using new pins but i'm going to get all the other uh, ball ends off of the stock plastic ones and the stock plastic shims put that into the back of the retainer same thing for both sides and now if you add that front plastic retainer you'll still be able to work on everything else but your a arms will stop flopping around and falling out so we'll do that here one screw each side pulls that into place here Now ready for the upgrade kit from Tamiya for the front. And get all the parts out. Lots of gear in here. So first we're going to build the CVDs. So we're going to install the retainer. And then we have the drive pin. This is new for me. I expected a grub screw, but it's not. So this one here is like a retainer clip. So it's going to slide on up and over, covering the drive pin to keep that from sliding out. And right away, I could tell the difference in the steering angle here. All right, so now at our bearing, we get the proper knuckle here. We got an R and an L on them to designate left and right. Throw that into the steering knuckle, get our bearings in. All right. So by adding the hex, it's going to keep that drive shaft or the CVD from falling out. While we get it installed on the C-Hub. So you have to put your retainers inside the C-Hub. Throw the steering knuckle in. I'm just digging for the proper hardware here. So a ball end is going to be uh, inserted at the top and a uh, countersunk screw at the bottom so as always thread lock comes doing that up off camera so now we're ready to install that into the a-arm so i'm going to throw the retaining pin and then we have a grub screw that's going to hold that all together so pretty much reassembling as we took it apart with the stock stuff Alright, so I'm going to add the CVD back into the diff cup, snap on the camber link, steering link, that part's all done. Alright, so we're going to get the old stock shock towers out, because this kit came with the uh, carbon fiber fronts. Probably end up replacing the rear after, but for now I just picked this up, it was in this kit already, so. Alright, so three screws. We get the uh, shock towers on there. I already added the uh, ball ends to it, so we're going to be using the uh, second from the outside of the holes. Snap that back into the A arm. Same thing for the opposite side. So that was pretty stiff. I uh, <laughs> couldn't do it in my hands. I thought I could snap it together, but it wasn't happening. All right, so ended up skipping out the rear. And unfortunately, the air uh, racing uh, aluminum uh, A arm and the knuckles were causing some issues. So the uh, stock bearing that I have doesn't fit inside the knuckle. It's loose. It's all over the place. So I'm going to need to buy a bigger one. And the retainer pin that goes into the front of the A arm that holds the uh, hub carrier in the back there. Unfortunately. It's too small, the stock pin anyways, and they didn't give me any other pins. There's tons of play in there, so I can't install that. But oddly enough, the pin going into the uh, back of the A-arm. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna throw that in if I can pull it out here. Back there, that pin fits to the front perfect. There's no play, nice and tight. So we're going to be cutting those into or to size. And getting a proper bearing. If I'm not mistaken, the bearing is going to be a 11 by 5. Whereas the stock is, well, I should have taken the measurement of the stock. But anyways, that's what I'm going to be replacing with. So I'm going to end up making it work, but just not for this project. Needs some more parts. 
So skip that out, but I'm happy. Everything else went uh, together nice. Counter steer is going to be nice to have that. Uh, the front one way as well. All right, so what we're going to do here is going to pop off that tire so we can get a good look at the uh, A-arm and the steering assembly. We're getting a lot more angle because of those CVDs, but we're also getting a lot more angle because of the A-arm. So both in combination are giving me a lot more steering than what I had stock. All right, so we're going to get that nut off. All right. So here, you have to see you get tons of angle. And on the opposite side, you get no tire rub because the way that the... Uh, a arm is cut out. I'm not sure how much that is. Uh, my Sakura has 55 degrees. This is probably a little bit less, but uh, tons for me, anyways. I'm very happy with that. Got to play around with the steering links here, getting a little bit of binding, but that's because it's going past lock and then that's uh, turning <laughs> inwards. But that'll be fixed quick, and we should have a test run of this soon. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.